Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Ty or the Sam, and I'm bringing you a kill confirmed gameplay on the map Hard Hat in the game Modern Warfare 3. And I'm going to be uh, bringing three topics in this commentary. Uh, number one is the Blink 182 songs and how I feel about them because they have changed from good songs like Damn It that they're like for everybody, sound great, you know, have like that little bit of cussing, but it's whatever. To so these songs like uh, well, I'll get into it later. And then, my second, uh, point is going to be, uh, the whole joke, your uncle Jack off the horse. And my third topic is going to be none other than Black Ops 2, and how I feel about it. So, coming back to the Blink-182 songs, uh, they, as I said before, they had a song called Damn It, and that was a great song. I loved that song. I listened to it all the time when I was a kid. You know, and I always thought, oh, it was bad that they said damn it in it. Oh, that's that's a little racy. But it's really not, as I think back to it. You know, everybody says damn it once in a while. But they have gone, uh, if you've heard some of their recent songs, or like their like joke songs, I don't know if it's their actual songs, but they made a song, or a joke song, called I Know a Guy. And one of the verses is he has sex with his sister. He used his dick to pop her four-foot blister. If you do not know what that means, if you don't know what have sex with your sister means, go back to the sixth grade, everybody will tell you. But uh, if the four-foot blister means the cherry or it's taking the virginity from a woman, I know I'm being very technical when I talk about this, but still, it's disgusting to sing about that. I don't get why they sing about it. I really don't understand it. it. It's it's weird. I mean, like, oh yeah, let's sing about incest. Yeah. Fantastic. So, now we move on. Uh, Uncle Jack off the horse. Punctuation. It is the key factors in English sentence making. This can make the ho the capital J and Jack can make or break the sentence. If someone asks you if your if your uncle Jack was stuck on a horse, would you help your uncle Jack off the horse? You say, "Well, that depends. Is the J capitalized?" And they're like, "What? what? J capitalized? What? What? Why is that important?" You should be like, "Is the J capitalized?" If they say no, say, "Hell no! I would not. That's disgusting. That's bestiality right there." If you say, "Sure, the J is capitalized," and say, "Oh hell yeah, I'd help my uncle." Jack get off the horse, but see right there. Capital J means a name. It is a proper noun, a name, place, or thing in specifics. So we move on. Black Ops Two. This is going to be uh, a lot. I bet you I'm going to get a lot of hate for this, but I think it is the biggest pile of horseshit that. Treyarch has pissed up, alright? Uh, they are using a game style that is way overused, a storyline that's way overused. The machines are attacking. Oh, where'd you get that from? Which movie involving machines did you get that from? Oh, every single one ever freaking made? If Scary Movie has made a parody of machines attacking people, you know you're outdated if you're using that topic still. Scary Movie is like the break between expired and shouldn't be having jokes made of it anymore, and, well, not jokes, like, serious crap. But it, Scary Movie draws the line, is what I'm saying. I know that's really weird to say, but Scary Movie drops, draws the line. But there are a couple things that I am looking forward to in Black Ops 2, and that is... Four, uh, eight player zombies, and I've always I think that four players is is fun enough, but I like to see how they're gonna uh, cope with eight players because yeah, you know, uh, if they have the same size maps, where are all these eight people gonna be? It's not gonna be like in Kino where you can camp at Jug. No one's and not everyone's gonna fit in there. It's not going to be like in 5, where you can sit in the elevator and just shoot out, and when you're about to get swarmed, you close the elevator door and go to the bottom thing. 
but I'm really, really curious as to see if they're going to make new characters, and uh, I'm also kind of surprised in Black Ops 2, very off topic, that somehow Woods is alive, okay? You see him get blown up. You see him jump out a window with a dude that has grenades strapped all around him. But they probably have already explained this, and I'm probably just rambling about something, and I'm probably going to get some nerd going like, Oh, well, see, uh, he pushed him at the exact second, and uh, somehow, when Mason was running out of the building, did not see him at all, because Woods is just ninja stealth like that. Yeah totally makes sense to me. It really doesn't that he's alive. He shouldn't be alive. Like, seriously, what the hell, Treyarch? And that's my topics, but I'm going to bring up a fourth topic. And I call this topic random shit that is going on in my life. So, today was a great day. My parents went out for a baseball game. I was home alone with my brother Steven. We just had a rip snoring good time, you know. And... Yeah, I had some friends over. We had a little shindig. No, we didn't. But, uh, I did have a girl over, and that is going to bring me to my next topic. What's the big deal about, like, touching a girl's downstairs? I really don't see the big, the big deal. I mean, it happened to me a long time ago. That was the first time that I did it. But, what the hell? Like, why are people like, oh yeah, touched a pussy, you know, so wet, it was so great, it was just like, bro, you you, didn't, you don't even know, bro, it was, it was just like, blah, 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 and it was like gushing, no, the inside of a pussy, to, to explain it, like, how I would explain it, kind of feels like the inside of your mouth, but like, it stings, if that makes any sense to you at all, it stings. Stings. It kind of feels stingy. And to the people who say that vagina smells good, yeah, not really. I mean, it, it smells like nothing to me. It smells like, oh, hey, stuff got on my hand. I barely notice it. Let's just go wash my hands. It'll be gone. But, yeah, kids, quick tip. If you are still listening to this... Don't tell your parents I'm a bad influence. Don't get me... Don't don't flag this video for me being obscene. But, yeah, I'm just being freaking honest. And, oh, really quick thing. I know that I don't get a lot of viewers and anything, but i just like to say, what do you guys want me to talk about? I will talk about political crap. I will talk about sports. I will talk about the Olympics and how Michael Phelps is crap now. I'm sorry if you're a fan of Michael Phelps, but he is crap now. He is god awful. He barely qualified for. And you know, okay, you know, I'm saving this for a different commentary. But if you could see right there, multi kill killed the entire team with one predator missile. Very good job, Bose Blake. And yeah. If you guys would like me to talk about certain things, give you guys advice, if you want advice, just freaking message me and, you know, I'll hook you up. I can get you some advice. Like, yeah, I don't care if people troll me either. But it's getting close to the end of the game. I'd like to say comment, like, subscribe, favorite. And it really helps me out, you know. I'm trying to get some cash for college, you know, so I don't have to be dependent on my parents. I know that's kind of a weird thing to say, but I like to give them some, you know, not have them to pay for everything. But I hope you all have a good day, and I will see you guys later. Bye.